this one we're going to I'm going to show you some type of structure uh, in an organic way that you can start to uh, let's say another way to start to develop improvisation see so far uh, because it's good we have seen the whole dance in just back cross from cross open step and after seeing that elements uh, steps and a lot of different stuff we went to one two three four the step and the element but there are also other ways to explore improvisation so this is going to be our start yeah uh, i'm gonna show all these changes very very quick yeah i'm gonna give you like about eight ten minutes of these explanations but you're going to have to grab uh, one of the examples and practice it at least 10-15 minutes, then the second example and try 10-15 minutes, and the third one and fourth one and fifth one, and so on and so forth. If you're going to grab the exercise and you will do, you, you'll do it at the speed I'm going to do it, well, you won't get the benefit. That's also it's up to you. Be smart, uh, follow instructions, and you will get the full benefits of it. So uh, here is the structure that I want you to start to understand, which is we are doing turns, and this is our famous back cross, right? And this is a back cross, okay? So in this back cross, I want you to use, in this case, this leg, yeah? <clears throat> and I want you to do a sweep. That's it. And then you keep the turn. So she passes on top and you keep turning. Yeah? So once more. This is the back cross. I'm using this leg. This is the sweep. And she passes on top and we keep the turn. Okay? <clears throat> Let's say that for whatever reason, right? Yeah, and don't do that. There you go. Let's say that for whatever reason, instead of this leg, you use the other one. No problem. You do the sweep, she passes on front, and you keep the turn. Right? So far, simple enough. I use now this leg, this is the sweep, and she passes on top. And that's it. Okay? So, with this same concept, see, we just grab this spot, we use one leg on the other, and we are able to resolve it with a sweep, no problem. So this is one level of the thing. <clears throat> Let's say that uh, we are on the next level, which is maybe you got, you know, a, a glass, an extra glass of wine. Right? So instead of this one, yeah, you went for the other one. Right? No problem. She passes on top, does the sweep, and we keep turning. Right? So this is the back cross, right? And you were like, eh, whoa. You went for the other one, she passes on top, this is the sweep, and she keeps turning. Right? So that's level two of the uh, drunk equation. So, <clears throat> and on this same equation, instead of using this one, what about if we went for the other one? Yeah, no problem. She passes on top, does the sweep, and you keep turning. And one more time, let me stop it in, in a place where you can see me, yeah? You put this leg, she passes on top, does the sweep, and she keeps turning, right? So, so far, with respect to sweeps, basically, <clears throat> why do I consider this easy? Well, because you don't even know right now, you don't know, uh, you don't have to know even which leg you're using or which leg she's on or not. So, it's a very, very useful tool, especially if you've been drinking. drinking. So, you can see any back cross and go with any leg, and everything is fine.
you know, you will be able to do any sweep. So, following up, uh, uh, take this stuff and really practice it longer than I, I'm what's just uh, showing you. So, let's keep doing with the back cross. This is the back cross, again. This is the first take we did. Now what I want you to do is what we call a sandwich, which means that foot, see, I just trapped it like this, like a sandwich, and I passed to the other side. Yeah, as simple as that. So you do that, she passes on top, and you keep the turn. So, <clears throat> this is the back cross. See, let me show you another one so you can see in a better angle. This again is the back cross. So I just put my foot there, that's the sandwich, and I pass through, so we keep the turn, right? So, again, this is the back cross, yeah? Well, what about if instead of this foot, you know, we are on the second level now, so we put the other one, <laughs> yeah? Right? No problem. Through your back, you hook in the sandwich, you pass through, and she keeps the turn. Right? So, this is the back cross. We use the other leg. Then, through your back, you hook into a sandwich. You pass through, and she pass through. That easy. Yeah? So now, again, the best technique in the world is you don't even have to know which leg you're using, okay? <clears throat> so that's it. Uh, I would say a very good tool. Um, <clears throat> and the last one is with this, this place, with, uh, with that leg, uh, we did this same take with that leg. <clears throat> so, uh, backing up with respect to sweeps, what I want to show to you is that when we did sweeps at the beginning, see, we were using our leg on this side of her foot. So when we did the sweep, she was sweeping me. Right? So what I want you to do now instead is that instead of putting your foot there, you will put it on the other side, right? So I will be sweeping her, and she passes through. Yeah. So that's the back cross. Before I just use this leg, now I use the other one. Instead of here, it's on the other side. So you sweep her. And then she passed through. Okay? So, same thing goes for the other leg. <clears throat> Anyhow, we're reaching our eight minutes. So, I'm going to give you the last... Uh, you know, cherry on the cake, which is, <clears throat> uh, we did a lot of stuff right now, right, in an improvisational way, and we have used every take, every, every basic take on a back cross, see, with any leg available, to do sweeps, and to do sandwiches, and to pass it through. So the last one I'm going to show you is this concept that everything that travels one way, it can be rewind, it can travel back. So, <clears throat> this means that this is the back cross, okay? Let me put it this way so you can see. This is the back cross, so this first sweep, as we did it before, it was traveling this way. So I just want you to be able to just shovel it back and keep the turn to the other side. So this is the back cross. This is the sweep. And we are making it travel the back, so we change the direction of the turn. This is the back cross. I'm going for that leg, not this one anymore, the other one. 
So she passes one way and a sweep, and she comes back and she passes on top. Yeah. So every one of these possibilities, I want you to explore it one way and the other, one leg and the other. Keep it relaxed. All these exercises, at least it should take you an hour, an hour and a half to pass it through. Keep it relaxed, cool, happy, enjoy. See you on the next one.